It is time now for our stock of the hour. Shares of Newell Brands falling after the company announced it's teaming up with activist investor Carl Icahn in an agreement on a transformation plan for the company. As part of the transformation plan, Newell Brands also named four new independent directors to the board. Joining us now is Taylor Riggs. I want to say Kel Surprise, right? <laughs> they didn't have much of a choice, did they? Well, it's so interesting because this morning when the news came out, shares were up 2.5%. Investors were sort of digesting, is this good news? What does this mean? Now, as you mentioned, shares down 5%. So I think investors sort of taking in with Kyle, Carl Icon on board, they are going to go through with those asset sales. We have a board showing what assets are they talking about that could be up for sale. It's a broad range. It ranges from goodies, hair care products, which they bought in 1993. It goes to Rawlings Sporting's Good, which is part of their play segment, and that segment makes up 18% of revenue. Uh, you have Waddington, which is a containers packaging. That's part of their work segment. That makes up 19% of sales. So it's sort of all over the place. There isn't one specific thing they're targeting. I think that they're looking at a lot of different options to sort of bring in value. And they've said that we can bring in about $10 billion in after-tax net proceeds from these sales. Of course, with this share decline today, that's not helping the shares. Uh, G hashtag BTV3103 in my computer. You can take a look here. I'll bring my mouse. Around September, you started to see, of course, as we know, when the 50-day in pink, 100-day moving average in green, crosses down below. That is a bearish signal that did certainly um, follow through. And then take a look just at what's happening in the recent days. Last week, of course, we had it come above that 50-day moving average, uh, but still, nonetheless, it's lost a lot of sort of key support, if you will, from the technical standpoint. So what are analysts saying about this face-off? Icon versus Starboard. Yeah, uh, we've heard from KeyBank, which is one analyst so far, and they said actually this is a good thing. Getting Carl Icon on board, he's seven percent of shares, shows the investors sort of a vote of confidence as investors have sort of lost. Uh, certainty in the company um, and so he said that's a positive and they also revised the net asset sales up to 10 billion originally the company said they'd only get 6 billion from these sales so sort of some good news at least from KeyBank.